Hi everyone, this is Key, and uh, this video is for our upcoming group of agents and brokers participating in the 10-week summer program. We have a program starting June 22nd for the brokers and June 29th for the agents. And I wanted to do this video to give you the topics, tell you how the program works, what is the pledge, what is the Facebook group, how do we work? How do you get value out of it? Should you consider it? Uh, all of these things I'd like to answer for you. But I really want to give you a guide, an overall guide of what to expect. Uh, I'm going to ask you to invest in yourself. I'm going to ask you to invest your time and energy into a program that is going to make you a little bit uncomfortable. What I mean by that, that is that you're going to be focusing on growing your inventory you're going to be focusing on how do i get better at asking for business and generating listings and sales yes it is good to work with buyers and convert them and help them with their needs but the listing side is sometimes ignored and what comes with it is the prospecting side so let me give you a sense of what to expect in the upcoming 10-week program. Uh, it is a dual program. Brokers work with Stan Bishop and the agents work with me. And I'm going to guide you to the prospecting mindset and how to grow your inventory. And what I'm going to show you has worked for others. So I know that if you apply it, it will work for you. So let's get to work. First notice at the bottom, there's that uh, graphic that says listings don't happen magically. They require intention resilience, and a plan of action. My job is to provide you a plan. Of course, you have to bring the resilience, you have to bring the intention, and you have to put them together. Of course, that's the relationship you and I are going to have. So let me give you a sense of who I am. Most of you know of me. My name is Kia Saad. I'm a mindset trainer with Exit Realty. I'm also a strategist. I help agents strategize to grow their business. That's it. As simple as that. Uh, I know it sounds simple, but it does require an approach to your business. Did you know that about 80% of agents dabble in real estate? They don't really work it. I don't want you to be dabblers. I want the dabblers to work for other companies. I, would, I want the intentional ones, the ones who are going to do well, the one, the one who are desirous of doing well to work at exit. So let me give you a sense of my philosophy. 80% of the industry, um, real estate agent, realtors, do not prioritize prospecting at all. When they wake up in the morning, it's la di da And you're going, really? Yeah, really. Sorry, that's a fact. Uh, close to 80% of agents in the industry are fighting over what I call the rest of the buyers. This is why they are struggling. Whereas 20% focus on getting listings. What does that mean? That means they can dictate their business plan. They can actually dictate how to work. Did you know that the majority of agents who burn out in real estate don't have listings? There's a correlation between the two. Did you know that the agents who take vacations the most during the year are agents who have listings? I think at Exit we can do better. And we should do better. We should become the inventory for the industry. That means our signs, exit realty signs, for sale, for lease, all, the, all of the signs that tell the world we are here, we are working with the community to bring inventory to the table. We should be that company. And I personally believe that each one of you is capable of 10 listings a year. I want you to think about that for a second. Now, if you're a new agent, probably five listings a year, your first year, your first year, five listings. I can see that because you're learning the business. There's a lot to learn. If you're brand new to the industry, five listings, you know, is a big deal. But did you know that if you got five listings, you will end the year with about 10 deals? Did you know if you did a minimum of 10 listings, you will do between 18 to 25 deals? Because listings have, are magic. They make the phone ring. They get you to be known in the community. Other people are seeing your sign. 
there is a there is a direct correlation between the number of listings you have and the number of deals. So even though you do 10 listings minimum, you're going to end up with more sales. So why is it that some actually achieve it or not? I personally believe that all full-time agents, if they want it, can actually earn a bronze award every year. Now, what is a bronze award that exit? It's very simple. It's 25 transactions or about 200,000 GCI. Now, it's not just about the money. It's about the recognition. But how can you do 25 GCI? Can you do 25 uh, transactions with just buyers a year? You're burnt out. By June, July, you're cooked. You can't. It's just exhausting. For every one hour you work with the seller, the equivalent is 10 hours with the buyer. It is exhausting to work with buyers, especially when they keep changing their mind, hoping for something better, hoping for interest rate to go down, hoping, 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 and you don't make any money until they put a deal together. And that's the challenge uh, for buyer's agents, exclusively buyer's agents. Some of them are really good, but 25 deals with buyers a year can be very exhausting. Whereas doing a mixture, 12 listings and 13 buyers, or 13 listings and 12 buyers, things like that is very doable and you won't burn out. I really believe that the major obstacle in agents being able to become prospectors and getting listings is their mindset is iffy. They don't trust themselves enough. They don't believe in themselves enough. They don't have proper planning. When they wake up in the morning, their plan is not laid out. They react to the day rather than create the day. They lack self-discipline. And self-discipline plays a big role in your business. Basically, you're the boss. And you're the boss of whom? You're the boss of you. If you cannot get you right, your business cannot be right. So you have to learn to become the boss of you by time blocking properly, by prioritizing your day, by having a calendar that makes sense. I'm not talking about overwhelming yourself. I'm not about accounting for every minute of your day. But at least two to three hours of your day should be focused on prospecting and the lack of consistency in implementation. A lot of agents they keep reinventing the wheel rather than creating a checklist of what they need to do when they have a listing, a checklist what to do to marketing. They keep rethinking it rather than writing it down and creating what are called checklists of success. Smart agents, that's what they do. So how do we approach this mindset of prospecting? Call it fishing, call it hunting, I call it prospecting. It's the art of asking for business consistently. And we do that, if you're smart, daily. We always make time, about two hours a day, for following up and for asking for business. That's what we do. Those who wait for the phone to ring, those who wait for the leads to come to them, those who wait to be given the fish rather than catching the fish, tend to struggle the most. We call them in the industry order takers. There are two types of agents. There's the go-getters. They go out there and they go fishing and they catch and they run their business properly. And they don't always, by the way, do they always succeed? No, they have challenges just like you and I. But their chances at getting business are always higher than, that, than the one waiting for business to come to them. Are you catching the leads or are you servicing the leads? And you need to balance your business with both. You need to have a little bit of, you know, catching, meaning prospecting, an hour or two a day. I recommend two. By the way, part of those two hours, uh, one hour of those is follow-up. You don't want to meet the person a week ago, two weeks ago, and not follow up with them about their real estate needs. Following up is a crucial part of running your business. So how does the 10-week program work with the agents? Now, this program was designed between Stan and I. Stan works every other week with the brokers, and I work with the agents every other week. But you are with me, the agents, for 10 weeks. You're going, but Key, uh, you said uh, only five. Well, let me explain. Five of the sessions are live. 
They always uh, land on a Wednesday, and I'll give you the dates in just a second. So five sessions are on a Wednesday every other week. And in between those weeks, you're going to get from your broker, which I will send to your broker, a, uh, a video with a handout that you do on your own. We call those sessions self-directed. So you will be doing a self-directed class, then a live class, a self-directed class, then a live class, and we do that for 10 weeks. So that's why you're going to be with me te for 10 weeks. Each week you're working on an idea. Each week you'll be working on building your confidence, building your business, building your mindset. And part of this process is I'm going to have you join a private Facebook group, which I'll show you in just a second. And the reason for it is for you to build your confidence with scripts. See, I've, I'm a firm believer that if you make mistakes with me or with your broker or with your colleague, it's fine because you're learning. What we don't want is make mistakes when we meet clients. We want to be prepared. And preparation means repetition. A repetition is taking a script, adapting it to your style, and saying it out loud. I find that those who say their scripts out loud are able to transform them, make them better, and guess what? They tend to produce results consistently. So let me give you a sense of it. How does it work? Well. The bonus self-directed sessions, the first one you will get before we actually have a session together. So you will be receiving from your broker a pledge of participation. It's a, 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 a two-page document that have you sign a pledge on to, to participate in this course. It's an invitation for you to take to make you yourself accountable first to yourself and then to the other people. We call that the pledge. And part of the pledge is your first self-directed session. Let me, instead of talking about it, let me show you the pledge. This is what the pledge looks like. So this is the pledge. Now, if you look ca carefully, it's basically uh, a description of what is expected of you. And it is something that you then Tell yourself to take seriously. A participation pledge is a way for you to prioritize this 10-week course because it focuses on prospecting. So in this pledge, you will fill in your name, cell phone number, email address, la la la. Then you will uh, then you will read each part of it, and then you will check mark it. And check mark it means you're accepting that pledge. So one of the pledges is I pledge on my honor and my name that will participate in the 10-week program with all my might, with all that I can. During the five live sessions, I will attend uh, on time and, you know, it, just read it and just go through it and just keep checkmarking. It is you telling yourself this is important. And if you scroll down, you see it'll, it'll give you the dates, the live sessions. Our first live sessions is June the 29th. Uh, I wrote here June the 19th, but it's actually June the 29th. And then July 13th, uh, July 27th, August 10th, and August 24th. So this should be July 29th. They're always on a Wednesday. They are always at 11 a.m. Eastern. And we want you to be in the room at your brokerage around 10.45 a.m. Eastern, uh, 9.45 a.m. Central. And then... Uh, and I'm going to show you the Facebook group. So you will read all of this pledge and part of the pledge, which you will be receiving uh, shortly, part of the pledge is a video. And the video you're going to get, it is a video plus a handout. And in it, it's called the branding. How to hold a proper branding audit. How do you audit your branding? Knowing uh, is your bio up to date? Are you having testimonials? Uh, are you, do you look right on all of the social media? Have you checked your company website? Branding is what does your presentation look like to the world if they Googled you behind your back or if they searched for you? Well, will they find? So the first video is about an hour and it will teach you how to brand yourself. So that will be your first 
self-directed video with the handout to watch. And then what we'd like you to do is sign this pledge and turn it over to your broker. And then your broker will put together a roster of participants, those who really want to do this and want to do it well. Got it? So that's the uh, participation pledge. Now, what else should you know? Uh, the other thing is each video that you're going to be getting, the other four videos, will be also an hour. Remember, every other week, you'll be receiving a video. The first live session is June the 29th. The session, uh, there is a self-directed session before that, which you'll be receiving uh, two weeks, a week to two weeks before June 29th. And then everything else, you would be, uh, the other videos I'll be going to be giving you are about response script. How do you respond when somebody is unsure about the market or unsure about hiring you? What should you say? How do you develop a proper elevator speech? How do you become a thinking listing agent, primarily focusing on talking to sellers or potential sellers, homeowners, so that in the future they pick you as their listing agent if they're thinking about selling. So those are the bonus self-directed sessions and there will be five of them. Now, there will be also five live sessions. Well, here they are. The first live sessions uh, is June 29th at 11 a.m. Eastern, we want you to be in your office by 1045. The first one will be about the prospecting mindset and how to develop the proper time blocking to generate business, the kind of business you want. We're going to learn about the approach. We're going to learn how to time block and how to strategize the important items in the morning and how to strategize during the middle of the day so that you get appointments. At the end of the day, if you have listing appointments, you're going to always do well. It's just the nature of the beast. The more appointments you have, the more chances you have at closing a deal, especially if they're with sellers. I want you to become a listing agent who also works with buyers, not the other way around. The, the reason is you can't control your faith. There's no limit on income when you become a listing agent who also works with buyers. And it's a mindset. It's a way of thinking about it. So June the 29th, the live session, uh, this is the session we'll be doing. Uh, the live session number two, we're going to be talking about phone canvassing. How do you pick up the phone and call client to find out who, who is thinking about selling their home and do it in a non-salesy way, in a non-manipulative way, doing it authentically, reaching out to your neighbors and doing what are called phone canvassing or outreach call it a phone outreach without sales there is actually a whole technique there are scripts there's an approach there are systems you have to have so you will learn all of those ideas plus you will learn how to start creating your own scripts it's called the bravo technique i'll be talking about it a lot during the session but you will learn the bravo technique so that you can start designing your own scripts from now on and that one is Wednesday July 13th the session after that two weeks later it, we're going to be talking about open house and event canvassing what is open house uh, canvassing what is local farming how do you create name recognition at the neighborhood level and there's a whole methodology there is there are flyers there is an approach to the door there is a way to talk to the neighbors without selling them anything, but they still think of you as their uh, go-to realtor, local realtor. There are scripts you need to learn. There is an approach, and there is a way for you to leave behind either door hangers or flyers so people can, if they need you down the road, to come back and connect with you. We call that door-to-door -door canvassing or event canvassing. And the most important event canvassing we're going to have, you can have as a realtor, is an open house. So we're going to learn that. We learn the script, the mindset, the approach, how to hold the proper clipboard, how to dress properly, how to have the right affirmations, all that mindset. Then two weeks later, on August the 10th, we're going to talk about the lead management and follow-up systems. 
I mean, we don't want to generate leads and not learn how to follow up because it takes sometimes eight to 10 touches to convert the person from a maybe I'm thinking about it to, okay, let's do something. So we need to have a follow-up system. We need to know how to use a proper CRM. We need to know what is the data that you track in your CRM. How often should you be in touch? Is there, is there a methodology, a system to staying in touch with people in such a way that at some point they go, let me talk to you. Now, most agents, did you know that most agents when given leads, half of them don't do anything. They read the name and that's it, which is shocking. The other half, 90% of them send an email or a text and that's it. It's only the 10% of the other group that are left who are actually doing it correctly. They have a proper follow-up system. They have a number of touches, which is eight to 10. And what's unfortunate, not enough for our agents are tenacious enough. They, they don't have enough tenacity to stick with it. They think that the person, if the, that person doesn't call them back, they meant they don't want to talk to them, which is a mistake. That is not what they're saying. Your job is to reach out at least eight to 10 times before you get a chance at an appointment. And you're not selling anything, you're creating an appointment for a consultation or for a listing presentation. That means you gotta have a follow-up routine, that means you have to have script, that means you have to have a proper CRM, that means you have to have a proper approach, that means you have to have a proper time block. You see how all of these things connect? That would be session four, Wednesday, August 10th. And the last live session will be Wednesday, August 24th, and we're gonna talk about how do you use market reports to find sellers in your local neighborhoods? There are always neighbors who are on the fence. They're thinking about it, but they haven't made the decision yet. And we wanna be able to go to them and say, has the thought of selling your home crossed your mind? But we wanna do it in a non-salesy way. We wanna do it in such a way that we engage them. We wanna open the door to a conversation. We're not looking to manipulate people. We're looking to engage them to help them with their decision making. So we're going to learn how to use the seller's wanted script to meet people, plant a seed in their mind, and follow up with them so that when they're ready to move, they pick you. I need you to remember this. If you pick a neighborhood, any neighborhood, uh, let's say it has 200 homes. It's very simple. Multiply that by 6%. 6% of 200 is what? 12, correct? 12 homes are going to sell that year for a fact. If you pick a neighborhood of 1,000 homes, multiply it by 6%. Yeah, six, six and a half, seven. It depends on the area. But most places are around five, five and a half, six. So I use the number six. 6% 6 times 1,000 is 60. So that means. If I'm farming a neighborhood, I am absolutely certain that there will be 60 listings coming up from a neighborhood of a thousand homes. I just don't know which one it is. I just don't know which one is getting a promotion and then moving. I don't know which one is getting so sick and fortunately they have to sell their home or which one is getting married and they're moving and they want to go to another state. I don't know who those are, but here's what I know. If I create a plan that keeps me in touch with enough of them, I'm not going to get all 60 listings, but I'm going to get at least five to 10. So my job is to have the mindset of planting seeds in the minds of the neighbors so they can remember that my name is Susan Smith. I work for Exit Alliance Realty, that we help our neighbors make good decisions when they're ready to sell. And if they're not ready to sell, we are absolutely fine with it. That's the mindset. Some agents develop it. Some agents never develop it. The majority of the industry prospect one hour a month. And in their mind, that's enough. Shocking. Uh, why are they in the business? I have no idea. What I want is our agent, our exit agents, to be driven to do well. And that means they are courageous to prospect. 
but I cannot expect you to be courageous about prospecting unless I give you a script, unless I give you a system, a methodology, a way of thinking about it and building your confidence. That's what will get you to start becoming a listing agent. It takes confidence and courage and a mindset and a script and an approach. I personally think we must stop thinking that agents are naturally born to be in real estate or not. It doesn't matter. You can be any type of personality and succeed in real estate if you want it bad enough and if you do the work. For me, all of the ideas I just shared with you are ideas of skill. Uh, getting listing is a skill. Asking for business is a skill. Canvassing is a skill. The phone is a skill. Door to door is a skill. Uh, using social media to connect with clients is a skill. All of these are areas of skill. We need to stop thinking of them as magic. They're not magic. Agents and brokers tend to develop these skills if they work on something for a period. So if you learn the habit of prospecting daily for an hour or two, you're developing the muscle, and it's a muscle. It's a mind muscle, but it's a muscle that you're developing to build your confidence to become recognized as the listing agent. But you're not waiting for the business. You're going out there to get it. When they say, we're going fishing, you're not sitting on the, standing on the shore saying, no, I'll wait here. I'll help you guys clean the fish. No, you're going fishing with the people who are going fishing. We need to be the prospectors. We need to be the hunters. So. Let me tell you about this private Facebook group. Why did I create it? I recognize that I don't want you to do videos that go publicly um, so that your clients or, or other people, family members, or see them. And they're not, they're not meant for that. So I created a private uh, Facebook group for only the participants in this uh, program. And what I do is every session that you do with me, remember there are 10 sessions, five are live, five are self-directed. Every session, I give you a, a script, an idea. And I want you to take that script, tweak it, write it the way you want to sound, and then I want you to say it to the world. But you're not saying it to the whole world. You're just saying it to our group. And the reason is, because that process of doing the video for some of you is scary. I need to get rid of that fear. So what happens is I have you uh, record yourself, place it on Facebook. Other people are doing the same thing and you're learning from them and they're learning from you and you're making mistakes in a safe place. So instead of talking about it, let me show you what it looks like. This is the Facebook group that you'll be uh, joining. Uh, you can see it says the 10 week group, summer 2022 accountability group. You cannot just join it, by the way. I'm gonna tell you how you join it. I, I, I have to make sure that you are part of the 10 offices who are participating uh, in the class. Second, that you are participating the way uh, your broker is asking you to participate. So this is the page right now. It has only two members. Uh, it's only me and my friend um, Stan Bishop. Uh, we set it up. And some of you, as you sign your pledge, you'll be asked to join this group. But right now, there's really nothing in it. It just says welcome. But let me show you the one for the last program we had. This way you can see how it works. This group had 112 members. 112 members who chose to participate. And then each week, they get from me a script. And then I ask them to record themselves and put the script. So this gentleman, Jimbo, was working on his follow-up script. So in the class, they learned what a follow-up script is. They create one. And then they change it up to sound like them. And they record themselves. And the idea being, every time you do something like this without realizing it, you're building your confidence. This is him doing again, one called uh, Internet Warm Leads. How do you follow up with warm leads? Uh, this one is Tony Hickman working on how to work. Uh, we did a session on warm leads. She did one too. Um, this one comes from Amy, 
uh, Kilby, and she did on this script uh, something uh, about the follow-up uh, system. This one is Shannon working also on the elevator speech. So each one has different scripts. And here's what I'd like you to do. The reason I'm showing you this is because I'm going to ask you, I'm going to request as loudly as I can for you to choose to participate. I would rather you come to this group, a private group where we all support each other and make mistakes with us. Even though you hate video, some of you hate the, the way you sound, you don't like the way you sound, maybe, or maybe some of you are very comfortable with video. But saying it over and over again helps you build your confidence. And one thing I've learned, actors look good because they practice their scripts. They don't look good because they look good. They know how to deliver it. And the way to deliver the information is with repetition. How do you join the group? It's very simple. First, you'll be receiving that pledge from your broker. You will fill out that pledge, turn it over back to your broker or your admin so that they can create a roster of participants. Then you and I, uh, you will request, if, when, if you and I are not friends, you will request a friendship with me. And then you go to my page and you go to message and you're going to send me a message saying, Key, I'd like to join the 10-week program uh, summer 2022. No problem. I will see it. I will make sure that you are part of exit and part of the office that we have. And then I will invite you. So I only the people who are invited by me on behalf of your brokers can join. Uh, uh, agents cannot invite other agents. Brokers cannot invite agents. And admins cannot invite uh, agents. I do it because I want to make sure that the people participating are bringing some goodwill. They're bringing a good mindset. They're collaborating. They're helping each other. I don't want it to be a free-for-all. I want it to be a place of work. Uh, it's not a physical place of work, but it's kind of a place of work. If you are practicing scripts with me, you're building your confidence. And if you build your confidence, you're going to get more listings. And I want exit agents to have confidence in their ability to get listings. And that's the bottom line of this course. Uh, what else should I tell you? I probably should need, I need to stop talking. So I want to remind you, listings don't happen magically. They require intention, resilience, and a plan of action. Ponder this quote from this book called Think and Grow Rich. Uh, Napoleon Hill in that book says, do not wait. The time will never be just right. Start where you stand and work whatever tools you may have at your command. And better tools will be found as you go along. So what I believe about this course is that if you give it all you got, you're not just learning from me, you're learning from yourself. You're going, you're going to become better by practicing these ideas and you will start finding those scripts on how to follow up with the uh, you know, the neighbors, how to, uh, how to use an open house to meet more sellers. You will start developing a mindset of a go-getter. And go-getters always do well. Order takers tend to struggle. Go-getters always do well. I look forward to seeing you in the class. Hopefully this video explained the course. Tried the best I can. I will see you in class. Take care, my friends.